Today we've got this inverter. It came from Lipalale to our office in Albertin. You can see it came uh, with Korea Guy. Okay, there's the packaging. Okay, it's a five star inverter. I've already opened it up. Okay, there's the inverter. It's a five star inverter. It's a FS1008. Okay, let me connect the power and see what's happening with it. Okay, I've got the power in on the battery terminals. The inverter is on. But you can see the red fault light and the error is 03. So 03, it's a um, battery voltage is too high. Let's go and check if it's, it is indeed the battery voltage too high. Okay, the inverter is off. Let's switch on again. Okay. Okay, you see, see oh, error 3 already. Okay, you see the battery say 119 volts. So that's wrong. See, to check that, you just press the down arrow to check the battery voltage. You can see when I press the that down arrow, that down arrow, then you go to battery voltage. See, this is wrong because the battery, our voltage is 48 volts, but it's giving us 119 volts. So it's wrong. Let's check the battery voltage with a multimeter. Okay, I'm going to test our battery voltage there. There is the battery voltage. I'm gonna test there on the input there, plus and negative. Okay, let's go check. You see, I've got 48.7 volts, but the inverter was reading 100 volts, so the inverter has got a fault. Okay, let's switch on again. You can see there's error 3, battery voltage 119, but we've got 48 volts, so the inverter is faulty. Okay, I'm going to open it up so that we can repair and test after that. Okay, the inverter is open now. We are going to remove all the cards, then we can carry on checking to see what's the problem. Okay, we are now done with the repairs. Uh, the problem was on this card there. You see that card there, that's the control card. So if that card is not working okay, uh, it will give you wrong readings. Because that card reads all the, 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 the values on the inverter. So if that card is not right, it will give you that alarm, then the inverter won't function. Okay. Uh, let's switch on the inverter so that we can see. Okay, you can see that's the five star inverter. Okay, let's look before we close it. You can see no more alarm. There's 230. So the inverter is working now. Okay, we're going to pack it out to close it and then we can uh, ship it back to the customer. We are done with the repairs now. Thank you.